Murder suspect Brian Koberger scheduled to be back in an Idaho courtroom today. He is charged with the brutal killings of four University of Idaho students. That happened in 2022. But today's hearing could determine where and when his trial will take place. His attorneys are pushing for a change of venue as well as a later start time. Correspondent Laura Engel is live for us in Moscow, Idaho. And Laura, a lot will be discussed today in that courtroom. Right. This is a very big day here inside of this courthouse today, Nicole. Uh, we've got a couple of big issues on the table, as you mentioned there. When will this trial begin? The where and the when is expected to be discussed after months and months of legal wrangling uh, between the defense and prosecution over this issue. We also are expected to hear discussions today inside of court about the investigative genetic genealogy that was used in this case. We could also hear about Brian Koberger's alibi. That was something that was discussed before heading into today's court date. We're just about an hour and a half away uh, from proceedings getting underway. Uh, one of the key items to be dealt with today as well will be the defense's request for a change of venue. Brian Koberger's lead attorney, Ann Taylor, has argued that a fair and impartial jury cannot be found here in Latok County due to what she has called the extensive inflammatory pre-child publicity in this case. Now, as the victims of Kaylee Gonzalez Madison Mogan, Ethan Chapin, and Zana Cronodal pushed to get a trial date on the books. Taylor says she just won't be qualified to be effective counsel at trial until the summer of 2025 due to the mountains of evidence and discovery that has been turned over in this case. And that includes 51 terabytes of evidence collected in the investigation. And she gave the example in court recently that just one terabyte can hold 6.5 million pages of documents. That's equal to 1,300 filing cabinets full. Now, we are also expected to hear arguments about the use of investigative genetic genealogy, or IgG, over DNA that was found in the off-campus house where the four victims were murdered. Male DNA found on the button snap of a knife sheath was recovered from the scene, which helped identify Koberger as a potential suspect. The judge said he would review what needs to be shared and what will decide what will remain under seal. Now, we've also been told that the parents of Kayla Gonzalez will be here in court today. They, of course, have been upfront and vocal about wanting to get a trial date on the books. Again, we are expected to get underway 1 p.m. local time, and we'll bring you the very latest from this courthouse when it happens. Nicole? All right, Laura Engel live there in Idaho. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.